Welcome back to Crimson Skies, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're doing Mission 19, Rescue the Black Swan, where we will be rescuing two things, the Black Swan and a whole bunch of aerial torpedoes. This'll be pretty fun. What? That doesn't make any sense, Jack. I know, but it's true. They didn't know you were gonna rescue us, so they bragged to us about everything. Cap, the Black Hats are planning to hit Blake so hard, it'll put him out of business. Permanently. Hell, with all the aerial torpedoes they got stored in their Skyhaven headquarters, their attack on Blake is gonna be more of a massacre than a robbery. The only reason they kidnapped all of us was to keep us out of their way until their caper went down. Cap, they really got Blake's number this time. They kept going on and on about some kind of inside information. And now they've got the Black Swan as well. Yeah. Boss, we're all real sorry. Well, thanks. All right, now, listen up. We're going after those rats. But first we gotta make a little visit to their headquarters. If they didn't take all the aerial torpedoes with them, there'll be some left over for us here on the loading dock. We need to hit them hard and quick. Once we're clear, Sparks will maneuver the Pandora into position over the dock and start loading. You got it, boss. While Sparks is busy, Jack and I are going to rescue the Black Swan. The main entrance to the mansion is an arrestor hook system that runs along the roof of this hangar. The main entrance should be heavily defended, so we'll need to eliminate any turrets before attempting to duck. Oh, thanks, Cap. This'll be fun. I owe them hats a few bruises. Once I've rescued the Swan, we'll launch. Then it's time to shut the Black Hats down. Hit those buildings with everything we've got. I want them to feel it, you hear me? Yes, sir! Oh, yes. Yes. And don't forget to keep an eye on the Pandora in case they try any counterattacks. Any questions? Good. We'll launch in 15. Well, there you have it. This is a ground attack mission. We're attacking the fortress up in the Rocky Mountains, which is actually a pretty cool place for a fortress. Uh, let me see here. Unfortunately, we cannot choose our wingmates uh, airplane, otherwise I'd load them up in our, uh, our very good, uh, ground attack vessels here. I mean, heck, this Belmoral here with the, the 370 cals is pretty much the Crimson Skies equivalent of a dang Warthog plane, but we can't. So let's look at what else we've got here. Let's see, we've got the Honest Mistake. That is, yeah, that's an AI plane. We've got no hard points on that one. Let's see, the Sticky Space Bar, not so good. Blue Streak, not good at all. Housatonic is pretty good mm, you know what let's go ahead and do the devastator after all disregard what i said before uh only this time we're not bringing along all these silly weapons uh we are gonna use the stuff that actually works uh, it's not to say that those other ones don't work but they just don't work very well uh they're very special circumstances under which you can use those that air race for example if you use the old uh, smoke thing there I've broken the game because I've caused everybody to crash. Which is very funny. Uh, until you realize you have to replay the mission. So, let's go ahead and cause some trouble. There's our dog. I think I'm gonna name him Dog Meat. So, Pandora flying around, doing its, uh, doing its thing. Here. So we're flying along, up along the Rocky Mountains. Rockies are uh, are right up there. They've got a pretty high elevation, uh, and Zeppelins generally can't go that high. Uh, the old USS Macon uh, crashed in the Pacific because it had taken damage earlier. Get ready, gang. Hit the mansion's defenses fast and hard before they can figure what's going on. Taken damage earlier from flying over some mountains in Arizona that were only something like five or six thousand feet, so not all that impressive, really. But hey, uh, you know, you can't do everything. Okay, uh, mess up the power station here. This causes the anti-aircraft defenses to not operate properly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't do that. What the hell? Where did these guys come from? We're under attack on battle station. Man those turrets and get some gyros in the air. Sam, they destroyed the generator. We're running on reserves. Turrets, open fire. Okay, a lot of, 
A lot of stuff in the air. Big shot here. Scratch one enemy. Over. Let's we'll see if we can cause some trouble here. <laughs> Dang it. Careful of those roof supports. If the roof caves in, there's no way we can rescue the black swan. On your right, bandit Barry. So they've got. Hop lights, my favorite. Say, Tex. Nice. You know what time it is? Why, it's payback time, Jack. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which. That's right, keep at it. Destroy those defenses so Sparks can move the Pandora into position. <laughs> you got them all hot and bothered. Okay, get some elevation here. I'm coming for a dive ball. Oh. Behind you, bandit at six o'clock high. On your left, bandit at nine o'clock. Got another one over there. That hop light's in trouble. And there he goes. This is Big John. I okay. got one. Over. There it is. Last gun. Oops, Careful. not the last gun. You got gun. them all hot and bothered. It's nothing. Okay, coming around. Shoot some holes in that dang old rocket launcher. Sparks, the area is clear. Move the Pandora into position and grab those torpedoes. You got it, Skipper. Moving the Pandora now. Well, that's the last of them. You ready, Jack? And waiting. This is Mansion Tower. War oh. wings prepare to launch. Hey, it's a party. Let's see how tough these black hats are when the odds are fair. We need to keep those Warhawks away from the Pandora, so Sparks can finish loading the cargo. Tally ho! Okay. Warhawks are very interesting airplanes. Whoa. They are heavy. Maybe you'd call them medium bombers, but uh, they're real slow and they're real tough. But boy, can they carry a lot of rockets. Almost as many as the dang Belmoral. Which is pretty dang impressive. Uh, luckily, it's really easy to dogfight them because they can't turn for shit. Of course they are. A little, uh, a little tough. Uh oh. Let's see if I can get him with a high explosive. Whoa! This guy's that one won't be bothering us no more. I don't know if it's uh, generally a good idea to bail out 15 feet off uh, off the ground, but hey, you know, I let uh, let these guys do whatever they want. Let's come back around, get this last Warhawk. This level gets a little bit tricky because mountains come out of nowhere in the, in the fog there, as you can see. Whoa. Uh, draw distance is not that great, and you can be uh, kind of surprised. So it's generally a good idea to stay out of those clouds. Boss, this is Sparks. We're in position above the loading dock and beginning to load the torpedoes. Where is that guy? Hi. Whoa, for once in a dang lifetime, the Pandora actually contributes to a fight with her anti-air defenses. That's always nice. Now let's come around to Yawn Hook. Okay, this gets a little bit tricky. Gotta throttle down, but don't stall. Hey, Betty, that's not there we go. We're gonna do like we did last time and run around with six guns a-blazing and rescue the pretty girl. We're in! Hold down the fort, Jack. I'm going to find the Black Swan. Got it. Be careful, Cap. What's happening, Jack? I'm nervous. Over. Don't know, Sparks. I can't see anything from here. Wait. I see him. And Black Swan's with him, too. Why, that son of a... Sound the alarm. The prisoners escaped. They're leaving the main hangar.
You know, I built a lot of castles with my Legos that looked a lot like the Black Hat's fortress. Stop this. Thanks for the lift, Nathan. Nice plane. Is it new? This thing? <laughs> I just found it hanging around. Sparks, status report. Halfway done, boss. I'll be out of here in no time. Wait a sec. Boss, I've got movement on the loading dock. Looks like turret trucks just came out of that hangar. Done him in good. Ooh, better not try that. Okay, so, trucks with Bofors guns just rolled in. And that takes care of that. I'll do that to you all day, you know. What's in the hangar there? Nothing. Uh oh. So, this is not the best dogfighting airplane in the game, uh, but, uh, but it certainly has the firepower to cause some damage. Which is real funny. You just fill the air with rockets if you can get a bead on your target, which can be a little bit tricky. Boss, this is Sparks! We've got him! The aerial torpedoes are all aboard! Moving to a safe distance! Good work, kid. Watch out, bogey at 6 o'clock. <laughs> on your right, bogey at 3 o'clock. Alright, buddy. All right, fortune hunters. Sparks has the torpedoes, and I've got the Black Swan. I think it's high time the Black Hats close up shop in Sky Haven. <laughs> Jack, this is one oh, time cool! It crashed. You don't see the AI do that much. Let's level this place. Yeah! Let's level this joint. Oh no! The main hangar Oh collapsed. no! The main hangar's collapsed! the last of them. Nice work, Skipper. You're cleared to dock. Uh. You can also see this is a very large plane since it takes up the whole damn screen. Hmm. Okay, blueprints. For the aerial torpedo, we now have these. They're not that useful. I'm going to have to admit, you certainly can't hit an airplane with them, but they're pretty good against uh, Zeppelins because they've got a humongous area of effect, uh, and you can usually take out multiple engines or anti-aircraft guns or whatever in one hit, but you can only carry a couple of them. Really, only the bomber planes are able to use them very effectively. Zeppelin Pilot's Journal. Damn. I'd subscribe to that. Let's see. Zeppelin Battle Tactics by Eugene Sparks. This is a pretty cool picture. Look at this. All these Bofors anti-aircraft guns here. Big towers. Zeppelins in the background. And planes flying everywhere. This should have been the damn cover art. This is really neat. Oh, well. And the Black Swan. And bed. No, that's just rude. Okay, so, got a hoplite, couple of brigands, warhawks, there were no bosses on that mission. And look at this, cash earned five grand. I guess we looted the place while we were running around with guns a-blazing, picking up the black swan. Or maybe the plane is worth five thousand, I don't know. But, uh, six down, uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty good, all things considered. Let's see here, let's see, having some drinks, there's a creepy guy back here. Uh, let's see, well, all right. I can think of worse things to do. And we now have the Warhawk available. 
Let me see here. So, huge bunch of armor, guns, rockets, blah, 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 blah. Uh, produced by the Empire State. We're going to start seeing some of those when we get over into that area. Uh, I did already post the info for the Warhawk. I'm not going to do it again, but there's just, uh, you know, it's, it's not that interesting. I mean, it's just another plane. Uh, so, here we go. It's another plane that we're probably not going to use unless the game forces us to. Uh, anyway, that was a fun mission. It's fun to be able to just fly around and do whatever you want and not worry about all the different objectives sometimes. These are real nice. So, next mission, we're going to find a pretty good use for these aerial torpedoes. So, let's take a look at the plane of the day and see you next time. The McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, FA-18 Hornet is a supersonic all-weather carrier-capable multi-role fighter jet designed to dogfight and attack ground targets. The FA-18 was derived from the YF-17 in the 1970s for use by the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The Hornet is also used by the air forces of several other nations and has been the aerial demonstration aircraft for the U.S. Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, since 1986. The F.A. 18 is a twin-engine mid-wing multi-mission tactical aircraft. It is highly maneuverable owing to its good thrust-to-weight ratio, digital fly-by-wire control system, and leading-edge extensions. The Hornet was among the first aircraft to heavily utilize multifunction displays, which, at the switch of a button, allow the pilot to perform either fighter or attack roles or both. This force multiplier capability gives the operational commander more flexibility in employing tactical aircraft in a rapidly changing battle scenario. In 1989, a United States Marine Corps study found that single-seat fighters were well-suited to air-to-air -air combat, while dual-seat fighters were favored for complex strike missions against heavy air and ground defenses in adverse weather. The question being not so much as to whether a second pair of eyes would be useful, but as to having the second crewman sit in the same fighter or in a second fighter. Single-seat fighters that lacked wingmen were shown to be especially vulnerable. The fighter's primary missions are fighter escort, fleet air defense, suppression of enemy air defenses, air interdiction, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance. Its versatility and reliability have proven it to be a valuable carrier asset, though it has been criticized for its lack of range and payload compared to earlier contemporaries, such as the F-14 Tomcat in the fighter and strike role, and the A-6 Intruder and A-7 Corsair II in the attack role. The F.A. 18 Hornet provided the baseline design for the F.A. 18 EF Super Hornet, a larger, evolutionary redesign of the F.A. 18. Compared to the Hornet, the Super Hornet is larger, heavier, and has improved range and payload capability. The F.A. 18 EF was originally proposed as an alternative to a completely new aircraft to replace the existing dedicated attack aircraft such as the A-6. The larger variant was also directed to replace the aging F-14 Tomcat, thus serving a complementary role with Hornets in the U.S. Navy and serving a wider range of roles including refueling tanker and electronic jamming platform. Hornets and Super Hornets will serve complementary roles in the U.S. Navy carrier arsenal until the deployment of the F-35C Lightning II, which will primarily replace F-A-18A through D Hornets.